Welcome to the DeBakey Museum and Library at Baylor College of Medicine. Join me, Dr. Kenneth Maddox, Distinguished Service Professor, as we explore the legend of Michael E. DeBakey, a pioneering figure in the field of medicine, whose groundbreaking contributions have shaped healthcare worldwide. Dr. Michael Ellis DeBakey grew up in Lake Charles, Louisiana. He attended Tulane Medical School and his ties to Louisiana stayed strong. Dr. DeBakey's legacy as a researcher and innovator started while he was in medical school. He developed the roller pump as a means of providing blood transfusions and ultimately to make the heart-lung machine work. On display, you will find this very patent for that roller pump. During World War II, he was a surgical consultant on the front lines and as part of the medical staff office in Washington, D.C. He developed the concept of a mass unit close to the combat zone after seeing how hard it was to treat injured soldiers due to having to travel long distances for medical care. He also focused on the importance of education and was very involved with the development of the National Library of Medicine. And the records from World War II were a very important part of starting that National Library. DeBakey has been well known for the first use of Dacron graft for performing aortic surgery. It is said that he created the first graft on his wife's sewing machine. The story also goes he originally intended to use a different material. It is said he went to a local Houston store looking for nylon, but the salesperson suggested a new product called Dacron. That was the beginning of the Dacron graft. As displayed here today, there are many variations of that original graph. In addition to the Dacron graph, Dr. DeBakey has many other surgical firsts. We have multiple panels here on display that outline these various accomplishments. One thing that I think is interesting are the number of surgical pieces of equipment that he created and still bear his name. He established a surgical machine shop right here at Baylor College of Medicine in 1957 to fabricate these tools. Each item and clamp was modified specifically to fit the need of a different type of cardiovascular procedure, and most are still used today. They later became commercially available through multiple companies. You can see a timeline throughout his life of the many new surgical procedures that Dr. DeBakey helped create, including a multi-organ transplant that was first done right here at Baylor. These are the two pumps that Dr. DeBakey helped create. The left ventricular assist device first implanted here at Baylor, mechanical heart valves, and the DeBakey surgical cage ball valve, as well as a number of rotary pumps. An interesting feature of the museum is a recreation of one of Dr. DeBakey's early operating rooms. We will see a platform above the operating table with a camera to record his surgeries to later use to educate other surgeons around the world. A technician would lie on the platform and film up to eight hours during the procedure. Some of those videos can be viewed right here at the museum. You can also see historic videos of Dr. DeBakey. And for those who might remember slides, we have the slides that he would show in his various scientific presentations. When Dr. DeBakey was helping to design this museum, it was important to him to include a history of Baylor College of Medicine. Baylor moved to Houston in 1943, and Dr. DeBakey became the first chair of the Department of Surgery later becoming the college's first president in 1969 when Baylor separated from Baylor University. He would serve in that role for a decade. You can see a history of all of Baylor's presidents since then. Continuing his dedication to education, Dr. DeBakey worked with the Houston Independent School District to establish in 1972 the first high school for the health professions, which is still open today. A number of other similar partnerships have been established throughout the state and even throughout the world. You can also learn about his work with NASA and the development of miniaturized pumps and valves. Bader College of Medicine was the first building in the Texas Medical Center and in those early years was surrounded by forests. 
Dr. DeBakey would tell a story of a surgical resident going hunting behind the building and dragging out a deer that he has shot right here in the Texas Medical Center. The Texas Medical Center now has grown to be the largest in the United States and one of the very largest in the world. The Veterans Administration Medical Center in Houston was Baylor's first teaching hospital and it held a special place in Dr. DeBakey's heart giving his military service in the past. In 2003, the hospital was renamed in his honor to become the Michael E. DeBakey Veterans Affairs Medical Center. This room is actually a replica of Dr. DeBakey's conference room that was located in his office space. This is just a very small portion of his book collection. His office was lined with various awards and photographs of his more famous patients and friends. He operated on the rich and famous, including royalty, but he was also devoted to providing care to any and all in need. It was not unusual for him to be stopped out in the public by someone saying, Dr. DeBakey, you saved my loved one's life. When Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans in 2005, the students at Tulane School of Medicine were displaced, and Dr. DeBakey did not hesitate to move them to Baylor to complete their training, even giving them suggestions on where to find the best Cajun food in Houston. Shortly before he died, Dr. DeBakey received the Congressional Gold Medal. It is partially designed by each awardee. Each person is asked to provide a phrase for what they want to be included, one that exhibits their view of life. Dr. DeBakey's saying was, the pursuit of excellence has been my objective in life. He was awarded a gold medal in 2007 by President Bush. He was also the recipient of the Lasker Award for his basic science research. He received the National Medal of Science and was advisor to all the presidents of the United States. Whether you're a student, healthcare professional, or a history enthusiast, we hope this museum inspires you and deepens your appreciation for the transformative power of medicine. Thank you for visiting.